Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Gmail to Salesforce in 2024. So today, we're going to explore the seamless integration of Gmail with Salesforce, allowing you to streamline your email communication and enhance productivity. So stick around as I guide you through the steps of connecting your Gmail to Salesforce in 2024. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video by following these steps and simply let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser. And of course, in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically just go to the CRL section and you'll have to open both Gmail. So go and type gmail.com and open a new tab. Go to salesforce.com. So make sure to go and log in in both of your accounts. So if you have a problem here in language, just scroll down normally to the bottom. And here, yeah, here you'll be able to change your language to English. So basically, just go and log in both options. For me, I'm already logged in on Gmail. If it's your first time, of course, you will find yourself on a page like this. Make sure to log in into your account. And once you're logged in, you'll find yourself here. And Salesforce, of course, you'll have to go again and log in into your Salesforce account. And if you don't have an account, you'll have to go and create a new one. And it should not take a lot of time. So I don't know if I remember the username. Let me just go and start a new trial. Why not? And as you can see here, you'll have to start like, I'll just go with this. Of course, I'm just typing some random informations for you. Like, uh, I'll just type that. I don't know if it will work. Okay, employees want to that. Name is Tess. Next. And then the phone number. So I'll just enter that, that and that and the email let's see if they're going to tell me it already used and i agree to the main service agreement and i don't want to receive the markets 10 communication reading salesforce products and etc so i'll just go here and click on submit and nothing is happening uh, I don't know why it's not working, normally it should. But anyway, you'll have, of course, to log in into your account. And if you don't have an account normally, so let me just go and try. I don't know if, if I remember my username. Let me just do forget password and see. Okay, so they are asking me for username, not the email. I forgot the username, so I'll just keep uh, that aside right now. So, of course, for you, just go and log in into your account if you have an account. And if you don't have an account, of course, you'll have to go and create an account. And, of course... Normally, once you do so, you'll be able to start this tutorial. So once you have both accounts, first of all, to do this integration, normally you will have to do it through the G Suite or the Google Workspace. So go, open a new tab, go to G Suite, and simply go and click on this first link or sign in to sign in into your account. If you have an account, of course, if you don't, you'll have to go and create a new account. So for me, as an example, I'll just go here and sign in into that account. Uh, again, I don't know why it's not sign in for even Salesforce or this. So, okay, it's not sign in. So let me just go back, click on this first link and try to create a new account, as example. So we have here a problem in English uh, again. I don't know why it's keep choosing French, but let's just choose English in here. And click on get started. And of course, you'll have to fill up those information like business name. I'll just type test. Just you, uh, Morocco, why not? First name test, last name tester. And current email address, I'll just enter that email as an example. Gmail at gmail.com. Click on next. And here, of course, you can see the features of each one of them. Like if you want to start with the company.com uh, address or with the gmail.com address. So for this, you'll be able to use a custom uh, email address, extend engaging video call, a shared calendar, add users to your subscription, more storage for every user added, and security and management control. For if you want to use gmail.com, continue with gmail address and extended engaging video calls, one terabyte of secured cloud storage, easy appointments, scheduling, and professional email campaign. For me, I'll select that. And after that, I'll have to, of course, start my 14 days free trial, but I'll still have to enter my credit card. So enter your credit card information, click on subscribe, then enter the security code, then click on verify. Once you pay, 
Of course, for the 14 uh, days, you will not pay anything. So it's going to be $0. They will just check if your card is working or not. Then click on subscribe. And if it's everything, if everything is working as it should, you will be good to go. Once you log in into your account, for, of course, for me, my card is not working at the moment. So as you can see, even if I enter my security code next to I'll not be able to do it. But of course, once you're logged in into your account, you will have to authenticate your sales uh, like account. Or first of all, install first of all the sales force for Gmail extension, and your your G Suits of course marketplace. You can search for Salesforce for Gmail extension and click on install and follow the prompt to add the extension to your Gmail account, and then you'll be able to authenticate your uh, Salesforce account or log in into it. Customize the email settings, sync the Salesforce uh, and uh, record, uh, record, rec record, sorry, uh, login emails in Salesforce, uh, track email um, uh, engagement, and access the Salesforce data. Of course, you can review everything and optimize that if you want to do everything like as an example manually. But what if you want to, as an example, try to optimize some stuff? I have a tool for you called Zapier. So just go open your tab, go to zapier.com. Of course, again, if it's your first time, you'll find yourself on a page like this. Make sure to click on start free with email or start free with Google if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating your account. Or if you have an account, just go and click on login. You can log in with one of those options if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of logging into your account. Once you're logged in, you're just creating your account. Go to this left panel, click on apps. And let's look for, first of all, so if there's a uh, Gmail in here, yeah, there's Gmail and if there's Salesforce in here. So yeah, Salesforce in here. So what we'll need to do, simply go and click on create. And what I'll need to do in here, again, I'll just type on this AI. Of course, this is just an AI, which will help you doing this automation. Of course, you can type or tell them whatever you want to automate between Salesforce and Gmail. But for me, I'll, what I will do is simply I'll type connect Gmail with Salesforce. And yeah. As you can see, the copilot is thinking right now. So I'll have just to wait. And as you can see, so for for this AI, it makes the Gmail trigger and this is his event. So we can add them both. And here's an example. We can click on each one of them. So I don't know why it gets removed. Let me just go and put this back. So Salesforce. So just enter it. And here's an example. So for this automation example, I'm doing the event or the trigger is if I get a new email match in search as an example so we have then to log into your account and see the trigger and etc the enter text so I can change it to a new email and this trigger will be good now and you can test it out and Salesforce of course you'll have to choose the event uh, you can if you want a uh, custom action you'll be able to do it so as you can see all those things that you can do I will let you discover that by your own because I cannot go through all of that because this will take forever this uh, just a tool that will help you like automate between two stuff or even more if you have the premium plan of them. So that's going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye.